Hi guys, my name is James and today we're going to talk about the new Cinegears multi-axis system. There's quite a few uh, upgrades and a few differences with the new controller. The first one you'll notice is that the controller is now a full unibody versus the old one that was a three-piece version. This is lighter, it's more resistant, um, it's just more durable. Another thing you will notice is that all of the sliders all of the sliders are actually longer, I'd say about 25 to 30 percent longer than the old controller which is a lot more accurate, it gives you a lot more space to play with it. Another thing that we've changed is that the marking plate is now replaceable and the kit comes with two spare marking plates to use. One other thing that we did, uh, all of the kits come standard with the big focus knob. They also come with the standard focus knob the little one that's beveled. Personally, I like the big one better. So now that we've talked about the control, let's talk a little bit about the control box. On the new multi-axis system, everything is integrated inside of the controller box. So we turn it on, it takes about five seconds to turn on, and we're ready to go. The big difference with the new multi-axis system is with the receiver. The receiver's been completely redesigned in its electronics inside of it. Its power distribution functions have also been redesigned. Uh, it will give us a better power uh, output to all of the different motors. All right, so let's talk a little bit about the back of the receiver now. As you can see, everything is properly identified on the back. Everything has limo cables. So everything on the back of the receiver is well identified. We have here for Ari, Red, Sony, Canon, in this case here it's a Sony, so we'll connect it to the port that says Sony and Canon with the appropriate cable. And that's it. If I needed the red, here's the red cable. Connect it to red. Or if I need the Alexa. They're all independent of each other, but they all control the cameras. All you need is the, the cable for the camera that you're using. All of the start-stop recording protocols are integrated inside of the receiver, which means that we have a different chipset for each one of these cameras inside of the receiver.